many of our, at least our listeners, agree that a lot significant has happened. But especially over the last three months, I mean, the, the amount of email we get, and it's just one barometer, you know, everybody, every different show is going to have a different audience, and the letters you get, I'm sure, mm -hmm. would vary, has really been that people don't seem to be as inspired that the president is I hate to use this term, the decider, in the same way that maybe George W. Bush was making the wrong decisions, I, I, I want to make clear. Um, d is that demeanor? Is that because it's much easier to talk about all the things you'll do before you're elected and then you've got to do them one by well, one? You know, I mean, what do you think? You know, with all due respect, I'm going to say get off your ass and organize then. You know, it's it, well, the easiest thing to do is to sit back and, oh, woe is me, and how come he isn't doing this, and I'm so disappointed. And, um, you know, it, it used to be, how do I love the, let me count the ways, Barack Obama. Sure. And now it's, you know, how let, let me count all my dis disappointments. Well, you know what? We need, and he said this from the start, if people don't stay involved, then the change isn't going to happen. It is hard. We've got all the same corporate interests. We have all the same enemies out there poking at them and, and spending huge dollars. Look at BP and the full page ads, which is so outrageous yeah. that they're taking that they're taking out right now. Look at the, the Supreme Court decision that now lets corporations get involved in political advertising, just like, you know, the same rights as individuals. Well, these are really hard things to fight. So get up and do something about it. Instead of emailing you know, me. Support don't <laughs> stop emailing David and, <laughs> and, and, you know, get involved in a campaign so that we don't lose control of the House of Representatives. Uh, elect a, a, as progressive a, a candidate as you as you can. But I'm frankly, I'm just pretty sick of, hmm. um, you know, pr progressives being in the business of pointing out all the, the mistakes and not lifting a finger to, you know, to, to work harder. Absolutely. And my last question, because I know you have to go yeah. on the issue of BP. I saw this, seeing through all of the bad and horrible components of what's going on in Louisiana as an opportunity for Barack Obama to really push and say, this is now the time for alternative energy and to become the energy president. George W. Bush had an opportunity. He wasn't interested. He didn't do it. Barack Obama still could. Do you think this is the time? And, and what could he do right now that he's not doing in terms of alternative energy? This absolutely is the time right now. Um, you know, one, I just came back from Louisiana t today. This is a, 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 a catastrophe of biblical proportions that's going on right now. And if we don't use it as, a, as an opportunity to say that we not only have to wean ourselves from foreign oil, but we have to wean ourselves from oil altogether. All, all but I, I also want to say, you know, people say, oh, where's the, where's the passion? I want to tell you something. Barack Obama is who he is. And, you know, if you're looking for the kind of dr dramatic passion He's, that's not who he is. Um, you know, well, you but thought, he was during the campaign. No, people talked about how he was too cool. You know, where was he in the debates? He's not, you know, not passionate enough. Hmm. I mean, I, th I think that the, the kind of deliberate, um, but don't mistake that for not having a steely spine. He has a steely spine, but he, you know, he, he's not uh, a, a real emotional guy. He doesn't have these wide swings of... Um, of de demonstrable emotion. What did Ron Gibbs? It was like, you know, he, he clenched his jaw. Or was like, you know, if we start yeah. getting into that, that's ridiculous. <laughs> but on the policy front, uh, this is an opportunity to coolly and, um, and I think persuasively say, look, Americans, this is not going to be the only situation if we don't do something about this. We're going to have these kinds of disasters, and so let's move ahead, make those kinds of investments that we need to do right now to set ourselves on this new and pass the energy bill for crying out loud in the in the Senate. And let's get moving. There's this is there's no time to waste. We've been speaking with Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky from Illinois. Thank you so much. Thanks. I appreciate it. Midweek Politics is brought to you in part by Jackson & Connor, classically modern men's apparel in Northampton, Massachusetts, on the second floor of Thorns Marketplace. By DIF Design, specializing in custom business websites at difdesign.com. And by Shentrition.com, provider of all-natural superfood and adaptogenic herbal blend at Shentrition.com. To find out more about underwriting Midweek Politics, visit midweekpolitics.com.